Well, Megan and I met, we met in August of 2013. I had been riding in a van with a bunch of guys that I was playing music with for a couple of years. And we had played a small town called Evansville, Indiana. There's a bar there called the Moscow's Bar and Grill. We had played there once or twice before and we, uh, we came back for, for a third time. And it was, uh, at the time it was just like kind of any other night. It was, it was unload the van, you know, get set up, sound check, and you know, kind of do what we did every, every day. You know, for the most part and I didn't really think it was going to be any different but it ended up you know I met the girl that I'll be marrying today and the crazy part of it was her maid of honor Emily Tipton she was the one that had to convince Megan to get out that night and Megan was tired she didn't want to go out I remember I had to work for my mom I did not want to be going out late and Emily kept hounding her said there's this great band it's a reggae band reggae never comes through Evansville Indiana she drug me out. I didn't think I was going to stay very late. And I ended up staying for a whole four hour set. And I still didn't even notice Troy to the very end came up to me, introduced himself. He was so sweet. And he gave me a little summer sample that they had. And we just kind of parted ways that night. But later on, I just remember how much I loved this band and I thought these guys were so nice and people I could definitely be friends with. So I Facebook messaged their band page and Troy hit me up on his own and kind of made the first move. I think the next day or two, the, you know, the um, benefits of social media is you can get in contact pretty easily. And <laughs> I think uh, for lack of better terms, I, I slid into the DMs and <laughs> I just, we just started talking online and we ended up dating kind of long distance. I was in Nashville, she was in Evansville for the first year of us dating. We would uh, drive back and forth to see each other and I would stay with either her mom or whoever. We'd sleep on a couch together wherever we needed to and um, that, that's how we originally met. And a year after doing that, she moved to Nashville and ever since then, it kind of, it's been, uh, it's been small baby steps ever since, but it's been great. And I think if I hadn't, you know, been playing in this band and been in that bar that night, and if Emily hadn't convinced her to go out, it never would have happened. It all just kind of happened naturally. We think, you know, it was the hands of God and the hands of the universe that somehow brought us together. Something uh, I'm always thankful for is on social media, because for him, messaging me led to us connecting and slowly falling in love with each other. Me coming to Nashville and falling in love with the city, falling in love with him. I knew from, I knew from the beginning that I was falling hard for this boy. And here we are, six years later, and I get to marry, I get to marry Troy. And I'm the happiest I could ever be. I'm thankful for that night of just simple bliss. The stars aligned and it all worked out the way it was supposed to.
She, Megan knows so much I love her. She knows how much I love her, and you know, it's just something every day you have to wake up, you know, and love each other first thing in the morning. That's what we're gonna do, so. Love you, baby. To my husband-to-be, I hope that we get to enjoy this day together with our families and our friends. I hope it's filled with love. I hope it's filled with laughs. I hope we'll never forget it. And I hope you know that I'm going to love you, to support you, and encourage you for the rest of our lives. And be the good and the bad, I know that our life will be good together because of the love we share. And I can't wait for this next chapter of our lives, Troy. I can't wait to see you. I love you. Mm -hmm.